what is up what is up hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here I'm Ale I go by Dapper Chef on Posh and eBay I'm a full-time foodie part-time reseller so today we got a cumulative haul uh, predominantly uh, Salvation Army and Savers which I would never say I'd go to Savers, but now Savers is becoming more uh, promising and cheaper than Goodwill for me. So, shall we get started? So most of the stuff I haven't listed, I want to say average comps for uh, cost of goods for everything was about four some four and change, so about like four twenty five. So uh, let's get started. So it's, uh, a lot of this is just no particular order, so it's kind of mixed in. So first up, if you know this little uh, V, you might know who this brand is. So these are not Rothy's. This brand is by Viva or Vivia. These are size 39 and a half. So recently this brand, every I picked up two pairs from of these already and they've sold like that. So these have becoming uh, have been becoming the new Rothy's for me. So anytime you see this little V, pick it up. These I think were originally eight bucks. Next up, another pair of Vivivas again. These are the Mary Jane style, little knit loafer. Again, thirty nine and a half. What I like about them is they're kind of more trendier with the square toes. Next piece, $9.79. What made me look this up was two things. The print was kind of cool. It's just like a mixed fair aisle print. And then the buttons what really sold me. So it's these cool looking like buffalo nickels. And, you know, there's no size tag in here. No brand tag. So I wasn't going to look grab it at first until Google lensed it. But then I saw this. If you know, you know that this is Polo Ralph Lauren. And I want to say this is probably like a size large. And I guess this is a sought after style of the cardigan. So it's a men's size large, I want to say. Because it fits me and I usually wear a medium large. <clears throat> Next up, $11.99. So it's from Savers. Just this two piece set. Velour, uh, velour, crushed velvet, little pants with the closure up top. These are a silk rayon blend, and it's the J. Peterman Company, size 10. So it's like a black velvet, and then with the tw uh, twist front top, or I don't know which gets us a top or a jacket. I want to say just like a jacket, but both size 10. Not too bad for those guys. And then for nine dollars, just a men's uh, Ted Baker blazer, wool we'll blend, and it's the Ted Baker endurance, which is kind of like a lower end of his, but still. And it's a size forty-four. And like we said with Ted Baker, his size, his uh, style tags are usually kind of hidden, so it's one hundred percent wool, and it's the Jarrett. Next up, a little tweed, kind of metallic -y tweed hat. It's by Anthropology. So, it's probably a Anthropology branded. Next up, I could just smell who these are. <laughs> I know it sounds really weird, but if you know what I mean when you see jelly flats, you'll know who I'm talking about. These were nine bucks, but they're Melissa. Whatever it is with Melissa, no matter how used they are, they still have that little smell. These are size 8. $14 originally. These are just a pair of, I want to say mules, would you say like kind of heeled mules? They're size 7 and they're by Twisted Boots or Twisted X Boots. 
which I've never found before, so now I can say I found it. Next up was $5, I think because no one knew the brand and neither did I. But I just got these kind of mostly based on style. So these really cool uh, red leather li uh, loafers with this really unique uh, front. So I kind of kind of remind me of like One Piece because I know I saw a lot of this style shoe that they were wearing. And these are probably like a size 9 I want to say. Because the size is kind of hard to decipher. Just a random brand called Art Mew. So I looked these up and for every reason what pops up a lot is Ali, AliExpress but they have them priced at like $100. So, you know, good little minimalist shoe. Next up, pair of espadrilles. These are size 40, made in Spain, and they're Rubinas, which I have sold before. Nice little leather, or not leather, your leather lining, the little stretch heels. Next up was $9, but this was a half off color. Just these pair of Coach Poppy. I think it's Coach Poppy. Maybe, or just regular coach, but they're a little espadrille, kind of jute, or uh, hay heel, uh, wedges, size 9. Along with coach, this was only $1.99, just this little lanyard wallet with a monogram. Really great shape. Next up was $18, just a pair of men's Ferragamo, Ferragamo kind of buckle with a Gincini loafer. These are size 10 and a half. So with uh, Ferragamo, I learned the best uh, thing that sells fast for me in his shoes is going to be this little thing, when he has this little thing, the Gincini, or the horse bit. Next piece, $9 originally. Just this metallic rainbow plaid. Kind of gave me Dolly Parton, coat of many colors. These are size 39, made in Spain. And this brand, if you know, you know. It's Tony Pond Originals. These usually sell quick for me. All right, last two pieces in this bag. Just this pair of purple or plum color little patent leather heels. And they are marked by Marc Jacobs. These are size 38 and a half. And then last thing in this bag, just a Disney Parks 2019 little uh, Mickey Mouse hat. So I think this is the Salvation Army mixed in as well. So this was originally $6.99. Rebecca Taylor, little uh, floral dress. I don't think it's silk or it is. Let's see. Yep, 100% silk. And it's Rebecca Taylor, size 4 again. You know, perfect. Could be for, good for fall. If you style it right with some cowgirl boots, little belts. It's got that little ruffle sleeve. Next up, I'm going to get these up ASAP. These were 17. Just a pair of kind of witch core or dock, if you want to say, or grunge boots. Leather. And they're by Vince in their size six.
Next up, I already knew what this was just by the look of it. I'll let you take a quick guess. If you, it's kind of a, not really obscure, but not a well-known brand that people will always pick up. But it is Bagu, B-A-G-G-U. And this bag, you use, when I get these bags, they sell super quick for me. So I think it's the duck, the duck uh, canvas tote, or market tote. That was $3.99. Next up, there's a swimsuit. And if you watch uh, Alicia, you'll, you might know this brand already, but it's Miracle Suit. It's got the ruffle in the front. This was $5.99. And I got it because it was a larger size. So it's a size 18W. And then here's the tag, Miracle Suit. Up. This was $6.99, but I think this was the half off or 75% off color. Just this Rebecca Minkoff little suede tassel crossbody. It's just got some uh, light discoloration throughout, but kind of like a nice worn in look, not more street style. Next up was $18, but I think this was on sale too. Just this little uh, Michael Kors Rhea mini convertible backpack. The only real wear I see on here is just some light coloration here and just the stitching coming undone. Otherwise in great shape otherwise. Next guy, this was 15. Just these patent leather pointed toe uh, loafers by AGL. And I believe this is a newer label for them. And it is a 39 and a half with this nice little red color. It's got the scroosh to the back. And then again on the same line as AGL, just a pair of slingback heel, uh, sandals with a little metallic. So perfect for this time of year with the metallic trend. These were 11. And these are size 38, so AGL. This one I think is the older label. Unless I'm completely wrong, I just never find it as much anymore. Next up, these were five bucks. A pair of suede jute multicolor aspergils by Rag and Bone. 39 and a half. Next up, a pair of leather slip-on platform sneakers by Vince. These look like a newer style just based on the tag and the spell out. And these were $8. These are size 8. And last thing in here was 3 bucks, Just a little, little uh, pebbled leather pouch or clutch if you want to say. And it's by Kuyana. Which is a uh, crazy expensive brand, sometimes at Anthro. Alright, last bag. These were 15 but I know at this uh, particular store, dresses and shoes were half off. So this is perfect for Halloween. I gotta get these up ASAP. Just a little pair of... Would you consider these booties, maybe? Or ankle boots? But, you know, they're suede. They gave me very witchcore vibes. These are by Chi. I can never say this brand. Chi or Chai Mihara. Chi Mihara. These are size 41. So these are seven bucks. Next up, pair uh, for fifth. These were 15. Just a pair of Ray Bans. And these are the Erica. Next pair was seven dollars. Pair of suede leather Oxfords, I guess, or Brokes. Kind of like a salmon-y color top with the teal bottoms. 
excuse me. And these are John Fluvogs, which I haven't found in a long time. And these are an eight and a half. Now I need I need some help. Do we think these are men's or women's? Because I can't really tell. I think these are more like a woman's style just based on the toes. But what do we think? If you're anyone's familiar, let me know. I'll do a quick little, uh, give you a second to screenshot that if you can. Maybe you guys can help me find the style. So, you know, I know they're a little beat up, but they kind of got that grunge look to them. Next up was $8.99. Just this zip sweater. So the front is normal, and then it has this gold accent in the back, or a rose gold zipper. And it's uh, C by Chloe. <coughs> Which I know it's technically it's not as popular as it used to be, but it's a size small. So right here, size small. See by Chloe. Next up, five ninety nine size large. Just this indigo T-shirt dress with the. Uh, Kind of shark bite hem and it's by cos which is the expensive line of uh, h&m next up was seven dollars which i know is not pop these are probably not going to sell quickly but they'll sell these are size 25 and it's mcguire which is my second time finding this brand that's why i had to pick it up but hopefully they'll sell fast for me with the button flies they're kind of like a high rise Next up, $4.99 is a Champion Reverse Weave, size small. The reason I got this is just because of the print. Next up, $4.99. I know what, I saw this print and I knew what it was. If you're thinking Lily, it is surprisingly not Lily. It is Gretchen Scott, but she sells way better for me than Lily. So Gretchen Scott, size extra small. These are a cotton blend. Next up was $10.99. It's going to be this bucket hobo bag. It's just regular and it's Marc Jacobs, not marked by Marc Jacobs. So it's got the two tone leather. I'm oh, sorry, it's marked by Marc Jacobs. Not the uh, workwear, but the regular Marc Jacobs. This was five bucks. Just a little uh, laptop sleeve. If you know this colorway, you might know who this is already. But it's Hearth and Home with Magnolia, which is which this collection always sells well for me. Next piece is probably just gonna go off to Real Real. It's gonna be six ninety nine. Lafayette one forty eight size large. It's just a little. Uh, Jersey dress with these balloon sleeves or bell sleeves. Next piece, six ninety nine. I got these for two things: a, because they're because of the style, the color, a very wide leg, kind of boho, very uh, I don't want to say minimalist, kind of wagon look and minimalist in a sense. And what made me look them up is this: luxury pants for high fashion lovers. Made in Italy, 100% linen, and handmade tailored pants, crafted using exclusive fabrics, and Italian workmanship only. They're size 40. Oh, sorry, these are a, a Cupro and acetate, but they feel like linen. And the brand is Pes Pesarico, 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 maybe. Yeah, but a perfect transitional piece. Next up was 15, which I never would pay that much for uh, jeans, but these I had to because if you know this line, you might know who this is. So it's kind of like a Japanese style selvage jean. Very stiff leather, or leather, very stiff uh, denim. And they're new attack and they're uh, Levi's. Not only are they Levi's, but they're the highest line you can get. So it's made and crafted. And originally retail, I think on these were about $300. And they're a size 
32 by 34, and they're the Tax Slim. So, fun fact about that this line, the Maiden Crafted, there's this line, Justin Timberlake wears them, but he has, he has his own line with them, which is called Fresh Leaves. Next piece, this was 13, but I'm, I believe this was on sale too. It's just a pair of plaid, which is a plaid uh, button down by Barber. It's a size men's small. <laughs> Next up, $7.99. So I knew what this was just based on the cut and kind of the fabric. I'll let you do a quick guess, see if you can figure this out. So it's just very like a rectangle shape. And it is Norma Kamali, which I, size medium, new tag. So this is her newer label, and this one is, I think, the line that's sold on Revolve. So Norma Kamali, size medium, it's the drop shoulder dress. So fun fact about Norma Kamali, if you have uh, trouble selling yourself, I send it in real real, and usually they'll price it up uh, at least over a hundred bucks, no matter the piece, generally. And usually it sells within a week on there. And their payout is decent on them. Next up, four ninety nine. Just this white lace dress, perfect, I think, for someone who wants has a wedding coming up, or if you're going to Nashville. And it's just uh, likely, L I K E L Y, size two. Next piece, just a random thing I found in the hard goods section. Just a Yamaha guitar starter kit. Because it's got the auto tuner and just a regular songbook. This was three bucks. Figure why not give it a shot. Christmas is coming up. And the last piece was six dollars. Just a pair of port, uh, Tory Burch pull on pants. Navy color. Size six. And this is one of the newer labels for her. Otherwise, it would not, would not have gotten it. And that is it, everyone. So thank you so much. Feel free to reach out to me on Posh, eBay, Instagram. I'm um, Dapper Chef Resells. Otherwise, I'll start on working on listing these guys in the next couple days. If you see something you actually you absolutely want, let me know. Reach out to me. I can do direct sale or I can get these listed sooner. Otherwise, stay thrifty. Bye.